Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video. Yay, another video, another longer form video. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to officially call this series Thoughts of a Dragon or, or Thoughts of a Dragon um, or not. I haven't fully decided that yet, but uh, well, that's the... Uh, that's the that's the workshop name, and we're gonna stick with it. Um, so today I wanted to talk about the spicy site. Yes, the spicy site. How dare I talk about the spicy site? Oh no, am I gonna be canceled? Probably, because I always have controversial opinions, um, or at least they seem to be controversial to modern society. Anyway, um, well, the reason I'm talking about the spicy site is because um, Ultimar and I basically talked about uh, how OnlyFans was, like, essentially a, a cop-out um, to having an easy life as a woman. And really, like, yes, you should have a certain level of respect for people in general for being human beings. But that respect doesn't necessarily have to carry over into... <laughs> into, oh my gosh, I'm going to simp for you and send you money and do all this. Yeah, no. It's... The the one thing I hate about OnlyFans um, is that basically the porn industry is OnlyFans. Uh, or I should say OnlyFans is like porn industry 2.0, I guess. Where instead of, you know, paying a company to see girls naked, now you're paying the girls themselves to see them naked. That's essentially what it boils down to. And yes, I know OnlyFans did not start out that way. OnlyFans started as a, like, fan funding site that was originally meant for, like, streamers, YouTubers, artists, creatives to have an alternative source of revenue in order to um, kind of beat the stipulation of demonetization, uh, ad revenue being so low, etc., etc., um, basically diversify how they're earning their income so that if, for whatever reason, YouTube cuts them off or, or something happens to where, you know, Twitch, like, Twitch subs are worth, like, half they were, um, just even five years ago and stuff like that, uh, that you had an alternative source of revenue to be able to go ahead and still make a living doing creative stuff online. Well, naturally, as all things that happen with the pandemic, um, it, it went to shit, basically. That's just, that's what I've learned from this post-pandemic era, is that anything that we did during the pandemic was actually probably not the best thing to do, and now the, wor the world and society is kind of fucked over because of it. Um, so, it's unfortunate, but it's also kind of just just how things are now. And so the reason I'm t the reason OnlyFans is so bad is because naturally women decided, well, I've there's all these people stuck inside and I can just sell pictures of my tits and get like thousands of dollars. And so of course women all of a sudden, you know, um and it's kind of sad because it almost it almost validates the fact that um what a lot of men are saying like, what a lot of men have been saying for years is, is, uh, women really are only after money. They're not really after, like, you as a person. Now, this obviously doesn't mean true of all women. My girlfriend is a prime example of someone who could care less if I was rich or poor. I'm sure that being able to provide in some sort of capacity does play into the health of our relationship, but also it's not like I know she's using me only for my money. She is wanting to spend time with me and actually, you know, grow together as a couple. Um, however, unfortunately, and I don't think, I think Hollywood and modern society has pitched this idea that women should do whatever they can do to get money. And it is a unfortunate idea because, you know, back in the we'll say 80s, 90s, etc., like the sexual revolution, if that's what you want to call it, 70s, 80s, 90s. The the sexual revolution where women real, realized, hey, I can have sex with whoever I want and I don't have I don't need a man to necessarily like I'm not I don't need to be stuck with a husband, right? That's basically what it boils down to. I don't have to be stuck with one man. I can choose who I want to have relations with. 
um, when when this kind of became a little more prominent, etc. Unfortunately, it also meant that women became more promiscuous. Um, and then Hollywood further drove this idea by putting, you know, more promiscuity in TV shows and movies. Um, and, you know, the, the mass media always praises anyone who's so brave to sell their body online. Good job. You, you're selling your body online. That's not something to be super proud of, especially if you... Um, and so here's the thing that always gets me about OnlyFans women is they're like, I'm so powerful and I'm such a role model to women in society. No, you're not. You're actually what women should try not to be. Women shouldn't just basically be sex workers and, you know, sell their bodies online for money. That's not good. Um, and it really, it really kind of devalues the early feminist movement where, we wanted to be, you know, women wanted to be treated as equals to men and not objectified just because of how their bodies are designed. It it kind of has destroyed that, any progress that that movement has made because women started objectifying themselves. And so, honestly, I don't think a single man's going to care if you, if you show your tits online and do all this. Um... And yes, most men will pay for that. I won't because why why would you pay for OnlyFans when you can just find all this stuff for free anyway on the internet? Because the internet has everything. Yeah, I mean, heck, you could even like go find a uh, Rule 34 thing and and wank off to that if you really wanted to. But the the point is is I don't believe that you should should buy anything that you can get for free right um essentially and unfortunately a lot of young men a lot of gen zers who a lot of gen z men who for some reason don't know how to interact with women now granted i grew up as a kid socially awkward and etc but i still at least knew how to like talk to women there's there's like this crippling and actually it's just gen z and younger generations as a whole there's this crippling thing where they don't know how to talk to each other and it's because they've been in their phones their entire life. Like, growing up as a millennial, I still had that kind of um, brief period of where, like, I had a phone, but it wasn't a smartphone. Yes, I could call people. Yes, I could text people. But it's not like I could surf the web and do all this other stuff. Younger generations are kind of at a disadvantage for that, where they don't know how to talk to people. Um, and so, unfortunately, it culminates in these younger men being taken advantage of by these women who are selling their bodies online in OnlyFans. Um, because the younger men, one, apparently don't know how to properly use the internet to find really what you want anyway, but two, are just begging for any sort of semi-connection. And these women prey on these young men who are trying to find that connection and trying to, you know, almost feel like, oh, I have, you know, this person's my friend. Sure, I'm paying $50 every time they post a nude, but they're my friend. They talk to me. They they DM me. And that, unfortunately, is what what young men have seen as, like, this way that they can talk to women. And it's, I mean, it's a brilliant marketing scheme. Um, it, I will give women that it's a brilliant marketing scheme to say, I'll be your friend. I'll show you my tits. Just pay me $50 every single time I have a new picture of my tits. And that's the other thing is it amazes me that there are people so dedicated to the OnlyFans models that they, they follow that they will literally pay for every picture, every video, every single thing. In my mind, once you've seen the person nude once, like you pay the $10 or whatever to see him nude once. And there you go. You just save that to your hard drive or whatever. But for some reason, um, OnlyFans women have somehow found some way to prey and entice these younger men into giving them tons and tons of money, sometimes to the detriment of men. I've seen online in on Reddit and various other social media forums that... that Young men are now literally breaking themselves just to get OnlyFans nudes. When, again, 
porn is free. <laughs> you can literally find free free videos of people getting railed in sundresses anywhere. I don't know why you need it from OnlyFans. Um, and it's really kind of just, it's it's dumb. It it honestly hurts not only young men, but it also hurts women who, at some point in their life, they might realize, hmm, maybe I should have should not sell my body. And decide to do a professional career path, but you've already left your online footprint. Anyone's going to be able to find and stumble upon your nudes. And do you really think a prospective employer is really going to want someone like that? Especially, say, like in a marketing or um, environment where you're interfacing with the general public a lot more. Do you really think an employer is going to want that in their workplace? Probably not. Only fans is stupid. And I don't know why we glorify it. We don't. I don't know why we glorify women who sell their body online when they're basically just becoming glorified street women who charge way more money than than you could get on at the local corner from a streetwalker. It's ridiculous. And then the the thing that makes me absolutely livid and angry and just furious is there are some only fans models that say if you pay me five hundred dollars i will have sex with you that's prostitution you're doing prostitution all right you're doing prostitution if you put a camera sure you're doing porn but you're doing the very thing that you say i'm so against that but i'm so independent and i'm such a powerful woman that i'm selling my body online and making money i'm taking back my sexuality no you're not honey you're basically just objectifying and over-sexualizing yourself, I'm sorry to say. It's just, it's it's very unfortunate how OnlyFans has played into society, has created this whole simp culture, and again, when people talk about simps, it's usually, you know, men, men over simple like, basically putting women on a pedestal. It's basically men putting women on a pedestal, like, oh, oh, you're my you're my goddess, yes. All of that. Like no, you should not be doing that. It's not it's not appropriate. Um and so it's just it's just frustrating, right? Because I feel like we came so far as a society in the in the late nineties, early two thousands to kind of stem this whole, like, sure, women can be sexually liberated and have sex with whoever they want, but also there's value in not being essentially the uh, the the town mattress, right, that everyone's slept with or slept on. There, there's, there was a certain pride, and now that pride is just gone. Women don't care. Women have body counts. Like, honestly, when I was on the dating scene... I, I was fortunate because my, my target people that I usually date are millennials. I did go on a date with a couple Gen Zers, and that was that it was very apparent that there was nothing in common there. Um, but it was it was nice that millennials like aren't in double like double digit partners is not the norm for millennials, but for Gen Z it seemingly is, and yet somehow they're also not having sex. So I don't I don't know how it works. It it's not making sense to me. In terms of the media, it's like, oh, well, Gen Z is having less sex than any other generation. Okay, but all these Gen Z women ha somehow have double-digit body counts. So it's not women that are having less sex, it's men. And it's because they're spending all their time winking off to OnlyFans models, probably. Um, yeah, no, OnlyFans is harmful to society. I would say that, honestly, it should be frowned upon. I don't know why we glorify it. And the one thing I never understand is every OnlyFans model is somehow in the top 1%. Like, no, no, you're not. Like, not every OnlyFans model is in the top 1%. That's not how percentages work. If you're in the top 1%, whatever, good job. More people on the internet have seen you nude than then you probably would have had seen you nude if you just held down a respectable job and, you know, not sold your body online. But here we are, you know, women are eager to, to sell their bodies online because it gets them a little bit of money. And unfortunately, they haven't learned that money is not, like, sure, it's nice to have money, 
but it's not the end-all be-all. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. If you guys want me to talk about any other topics or rant about something else um, in the future, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll just do rants as stuff comes to my mind. But yeah, that's going to do it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of OnlyFans. Is it truly ruining our society like I say? Or is it really not as bad as you think? I'll, I'll, I'll take critique either way. I really don't care. But... Yeah, feel free to let me know. Uh, like, comment, sub if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.